The National Weather Service the, their crews were out there surveying that damage in Tyler, Texas. Yeah, so the National Weather Service senior meteorologist says Jason Hansfer. He joins us now. He's actually in Shreveport. That is part of their coverage area from northern Louisiana, which is about an hour outside of Tyler if you take I-20 and you go down the interstate. Jason, thank you for joining us here on Fox Weather. Thank you for having me, Stephen. Marissa. Yeah, you know, as we watched what happened out of Tyler, not the strongest tornado that we've seen uh, in the past several days, but one thing we certainly had was incredible visibility on what exactly this storm was doing. As we mentioned, you guys were able to uh, classify it as an EF0 tornado. There was some damage, however, that you saw in parts of Tyler. Can you walk us through the extent of it and, and really what particular areas you were walking through and looking at as you um, eventually did assign this an EF0 strength? Yeah, I mean, this tornado was a brief tornado. It was weak, fortunately. It touched down in the midtown area of Tyler, a very heavily populated part of town. Uh, main damage consisted with this tornado was of uh, uh, numerous snapped limbs. Uh, there was some minor roof damage to a funeral home, as well as a medical office building. Um, but uh, fortunately, it, it could have been a lot worse, really, uh, than what it was, especially um, especially given the time of day and, and especially the, uh, uh, the fact that we, we had multiple spotters on the storm at the time. Yeah, and as you said, the time of day with the video we're showing you right now, a lot of people are out and about. They were witnessing this from safe distance away. But let's talk more about eastern Texas. It is kind of difficult that time. I, I worked in Shreveport. I remember working with your office for a few years. There's kind of this gap between Fort Worth and Shreveport. That is what covers over there. So talk about how that can be difficult with the radar tracking these storms. Yeah, uh, you hit the nail on the head there, Steve. Uh, the fact that the lowest lowest level that the radar in Shreveport can scan over Tyler is about 8,000 feet. So anything below that, we're not able to, to, to look at, to actually view. And so we have to rely very heavily on trained storm spotters in the area uh, to kind of give us an idea of what's going on beneath these storms as they're moving through Smith County and other areas of East Texas in order for us to be able to uh, provide timely warnings for the, the for those areas. You know, and I think because we were able to get such visual confirmation on this particular storm, it does seem like folks in Tyler were ready. As you mentioned, this is a populated area, so it's always concerning when you see these tornadoes form over communities and businesses and that sort of thing. But you guys have been incredibly busy in Shreveport through the winter, now and through the spring season, uh, what is, and, and if you could talk to us more about the importance of how you guys prepare, how you continue to get out the message, and really just the fact that it has been so busy since the start of the year. No, yes, absolutely. In fact, you have to, you can easily go back to early November, uh, as this is, I've been in this office for nearly 24 years, and uh, I can't recall a time between November and say April that we've actually been as busy as what we have been. But again, uh, typically around the February, March, and early April timeframe, we certainly emphasize uh, the importance of attending uh, these free sky warm storm spotting programs that we host all across our area, including there in Tyler and East Texas. And with this particular case, the radar did not really, uh, was not looking at the storm very well. Fort Worth was even worse as it was scanning uh, the storm at about 11,000 feet or so. And so fortunately, we had multiple reports from trained spotters there, uh, kind of just southwest of Tyler that indicated a rotating wall cloud had formed with this particular storm uh, with the funnel beginning to descend towards the ground. So we were able to get a tornado warning out in place for much of Smith County, including the city of Tyler at about 6.40 p.m. And then based on uh, radar imagery as well as security uh, video that we were able to ascertain the touchdown about 705. So really those residents had about 25 minutes lead time with the tornado warning. Uh, and in this case, being over a major metropolitan area there, uh, really it could have been a lot worse than what it was, but we were very lucky in this case. Yeah, and I think you did, impor uh, important that you noted mm -hmm how you had some trained spotters, right? Yeah. The public can do their part. And actually, there is that training seminar, Skywarn, by NOAA. They train people in order to kind of give us that real-time data to help fill in the gaps between those radar sites. So great insight. Jason Hansford, Senior Meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Shreveport, Louisiana. Thank you for joining us. You bet. Thank you for having me.
I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.